So, I bought the Peacock Gen 3S um, Packer slash STP, and it just came in after nine days of, um, after nine days of, of delivery. So, I got my Peacock. First thing that came in was this strap. The hole where the peacock goes into. It's stretchy and it's really nice. I haven't worn it yet, but I will. Then it comes into this packet and nothing's in there, but it comes into that packet. So I'll show you the peacock in a little bit, but here's the erection rod. Uh, which you can bend it any way and it makes sound. And it comes with a condom. And lubrication jelly. So, before I show you the peacock, I just want to let you guys know that it's a penis. And if you don't want to see a penis, um, please look away or not click this video because there's a penis. So the first thing I noticed, well actually the first thing I noticed was that it was a penis. So, here it is with the vein texture. In this and it the balls it kind of I guess this is what a penis feels like except for it doesn't make the sound um, it's kind of heavy and this is actually squishy but not too squishy and you just cup this against yourself. I see people just cupping this against themselves like that. And that's the inside. This is the 5.5 inch peacock. Um, the color doesn't come all the way down in this area. I got a lot of good reviews and some bad reviews about it, but I'm going to test it out for myself. So you can see that there's a vein. This is the underside. Um, the balls, it's really dark compared to the skin. Um, they've could have, I haven't seen testicles myself, um, but you know, these, this, uh, will be very great. So apparently, uh, there's a loop, two loops. And, let's see, I guess you put this in there. Or, I don't know. I'm gonna have to figure it out. Oh. So, this is the harness and you put it on so it's kind of hefty there's the one thing I didn't realize was that there was going to be this butt strap uh, I could have went for the one with the open back design because now whenever I have to use the restroom for a number two I'm going to have to pull these down so I can use the restroom
So here's what it looks like. And it's pretty okay. I'm going to put it on um, and show you guys what it's like. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I put it on. So warning, uh, it's on. So I will show you. So ignore my poorly So that's what it looks like when it's on. It looks too real, man. Oh yeah, and butt warning, if you buy the one with the butt strap, this is how it looks. Yeah, so that's the warning. It goes up into your butt. Um, let me put on some seats. Oh God. So this is what it looks like. And I've heard that uh, people will put it in like to the side like that. Where it's coming up this way. But that's what it looks like. And here's what it looks like sitting in your pants. Um, so, that's it. So, first of all, it feels, it looks difficult, and it sits down in your pants. Let me fix this. So, it sits in your pants. Uh, this is going to get some used to, take used to, especially with the, um, whole entire butt floss thing, but it's okay, um, <laughs> it's alright, and, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to pee with it whenever I have the urge to use the restroom and I don't know if I'm going to pee my pants or what. Um, let me try a different underwear. That's how it looks in my pants. Clothes on it. So now I have a bulge there. Um, it's gonna be getting used to it. And I don't know how many times I'm gonna pee my pants, so. That's the packer, and that's it.